Well, it's blast day today. So let's have a look around the boat, see what we've got left to do, and let's get blasting. So I've still got all, a lot of equipment that has come out of the boat. Uh, won't be needing this very much anymore. Um, grinders, we've got just PPE. Okay, we've got some grinding discs, some hammers all laying around. These can't be in here, otherwise if I blast them, they're gonna go flying, maybe fly into me. So we've got to get them out, we've got to get the seacocks out. They're just plastic, can't blast on them, they'll get destroyed. Take the poo tanks out. Whole bunch of little things. I'm gonna take some parts out for the uh, rudder there, or I'll just protect it maybe. Um, got the bilge hose that has to come out. So we've got a few things that we've got to clean up before we can start blasting, but this week we're going to be blasting, so that's exciting. So hopefully it all turns out well. It starts looking all nice and white in here. Um, let's see how far we get. So the first round I'm going to do is the forward head. It's a small, nice, easy room to blast. Uh, it's not many obstacles in the way. But before I do that, I'm going to have to vacuum it all up so that uh, I don't contaminate the sand too much because uh, I want to reuse as much as we can because it's expensive getting all the garnet and uh, if I could just scoop it all out, dry it out and reuse it, we will. So let's uh, clean up. All right, let's have a look at the boat in its current condition before we start the blast.
I've had a little bit of drama, but I'll show you the progress so far. This is all blooming up, which is nice. It's supposed to bloom up like that. It's going to be all right. Um, this whole doorway's been blasted. I uh, went into the, I did a whip blast over this. We've still got to do a little bit more blasting on this under case you still see some dirt. So that's what it should be looking like. Even a little bit here, went all over those welds. Did that window, um, got most of this side done. Got a bit down the bottom done. Still have to do this window, but I was trying to concentrate on the roof and then one of the hoses burst. So let's go up and have a look at that. So here's the hose. As you can see here, bit of a burst in the hose here. Unfortunate because it's going to stop me blasting. I mean, I could try and keep going with that uh, hole, um, but the problem is if that blows all the way, this will just be whipping back and forth and it'll stop me being able to turn this machine off. Um, otherwise, I'd have to risk injury. So we'll stop for today, go buy a replacement hose and uh, come back tomorrow and it's probably 50% blasted in down in there. And um, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and finish the job. All right, back here for day two of the blasting. We did a really good job on this door. We got all the mill scale off that brand new plate. That's all all freshly blasted. It does have what we call bloom on here. You get a little bit of redness come off of it. Um, that's just the, the oxide. You can paint over the top of bloom, but you can't have this orangey stuff. You have to water wash this until that's all gone. I'll, I'll show you that process again. Um, but make sure your paint can handle it because the paint I'm using is actually designed to go over bloom. It's four big, giant, like massive naval vessels. They, they're not going to paint the whole side of a hundred meter long vessel and then treat it with an acid and, and an inhibitor and all that sort of stuff because it just makes the cost go way out. Um, so they've just developed the paints to be able to handle the, the uh, corrosion of the bloom. But there is a process, I'll show you that. Um, but that's all good. We've done a fair bit, that combing's all nice. Um, got a few spots left to do there. This whole bulkhead I'm happy with. Um, we've got to do this window and we've got to do the bottom half and this bulkhead. So we've still got a bit to do. I only got about an hour's worth of blasting yesterday before the hose went. Um, but what we'll have to do first is down the bottom, it's all full of garnet and even came out here to show those couple of holes were working nicely. That's all piled up with garnet there. So I have to scoop all that garnet out. I've got to get it drying because um, you can't use wet garnet, otherwise it will clog up in the bottom of the, the pot blaster and you're never going to get the garnet out. And I bought this because yesterday I was blasting away and every time I open my mouth, I get a mouthful of sand. So wasn't too impressed with that. So we've got that face shield now to stop that happen. I'll still wear the goggles because the, the garnet will bounce off any direction and come up underneath if you're just wearing the face shield. So I was just thinking, where can I borrow a massive big steel plate? Because I've used all the ones that I had to use on the boat. So oh, I've got some big steel plates back down there. There's another boat with some massive steel plates, but I have to borrow them. Then I thought this whole boat is one big steel plate. So I just spread it out on the deck here and then I won't have to worry about where the shade is going to be. So it's always going to be in the sun all day.
say, I've basically got it all blasted. It's ready for paint. So once again, we're not taking off all the paint, we're sort of just going through it a little bit. See how we've gone through it there. And that's because if you remember that white patch over there, we did an adhesion test with all the paint. So we now know that this paint that we're gonna put on is gonna to adhere to that undercoat. So that's fine. As you can see there's a lot of bloom there. So the test we're gonna do, you should, if you do it to the Australian standards, you're supposed to have a white, clean white rag. I don't have any, so I'm gonna get this clean chucks cloth, wipe it over the substrate. See how I've got bloom come off? That means we can't paint on that yet. So I've got to now high pressure water wash that um, so that we can get all that bloom off. Otherwise when you put the paint on, all that uh, dry powder is just gonna adhere to the paint and then it can delaminate. So we've got to get that off. So let's fire up the water washer and start high pressure with washing all that steel. Alright, so let's just uh, wait for this to dry and then we'll do another test. So, it's all wet, nice and wet, but it's really clean. So, if we don't get too much bloom off of all that bare steel, it's time to paint. Alright, so we're about ready to paint. Got my nice clean rag here. Yeah. Wipe this down, get nothing off. So there's no powder on that to be like stopping the paint to adhere to it. So I've got myself a little mixing station set up, mix the paint into here, get it from there. So time to start uh, getting some paint on the wall. than I thought it was going to be, but we've got some paint on. It's quite patchy. Don't know if it shows up on camera. You can see the shape of the door that was in there. That was like a much darker background than the undercoat that was already there. But it didn't go on very well, so the first batch I mixed up, I mixed up way too much and I tried to use as much as I could. I should have just stopped and just poured out the rest, but went on super thick in some spots like there and down here. But then I mixed up smaller batches and rolling it on. The rollers didn't last as well as I was hoping, but they did the job. We've got a coat of paint on everywhere. So we will need another coat because it's still a little bit thin at the moment. So we need to build it up another coat and after that it should be fine. Um, but considering it's a little bit patchy, it was a lot of hard work and we went through a lot of rollers, I may trial just spraying it next coat. See how that goes. Um, so it's pretty thick paint. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how it goes with a spray and it may even work out a lot quicker. This took hours and hours to roll. So we'll give that a go next, next time. Um, 
But yeah, pretty happy with how we're going. A couple of runs I'll have to sand off before the next coat, make it a little bit better. Makes it so much brighter. Everything's so bright. So, that's more progress. Let's see uh, what else we can do. All right, so the spray gun didn't really work very well. And that's because as the high pressure air atomizes with the paint, it's drying it already. So it basically comes off in like a misty spray. And it's too thick. I, I need a, a thicker nozzle. So I've got a 1.7 mil nozzle. I could drill it out, but it needs anywhere between two to five mil, uh, 2.5 mil nozzle to be able to get a better spray. And it just was gonna not come out nice and glossy because it's already drying as it's traveling in the air to hit this. And that's fine, it just didn't work and we gave it a go. So no drama. However, I did get a second coat on. So it still looks nice and white and pretty. It's a little bit more consistent, um, but not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to stop it from corroding at any stage. and. Uh, give it a good protection. So I can go over this with a thickness tester and see if it's going to adhere and, and if we get enough uh, paint thickness on the wall. Um, and if it doesn't, we can give it a third coat, no problem. Um, but she's looking good. So that's the first room basically done. Um, if we have enough time to do a third coat, in between getting the other um, room ready to blast some paint. We'll do that, but you know, it looks good. It's white, it's clean. Um, it's no dirt in there, like we can sit around in it and not get dirty, which is great. Um, well, basically it's done. You can see how much brighter the, the videos are because we're in a white room with light coming into a nice clean white room. Um, so we're gonna get better footage because it's not dark and gloomy in the boat anymore. So let's try and make the rest of the boat look this nice. And um, we'll see you guys next fortnight for some more updates.